Now that I got my results, I don't know, I have a lot of emotions that go through my mind. Like, oh, I expected that I had lost more weight, but I had actually lost a lot of inches. The scale does something weird to my mind. <laughs> it's not a healthy way for me to measure my success. I start thinking, oh, what could I do different? How can I change it? And my husband was just saying, you know, what you're doing is working. Just keep doing what you're doing. I don't know, it just does something to me mentally. Just because I have so much weight to lose, I thought I would lose more than that in the first month. Thought maybe I would lose 20 pounds or something like that. When I weigh again on April 23rd, if it kind of messes with my head, I'm going to wait every three months and just do measurements. Because I feel so good and I just don't know, it makes me think differently when I get on the scale and I know everyone's just like I'm so proud of you for, for 12 pounds and I'm I should be so happy and and I'm not saying that I'm not happy I'm just saying that it messes with my head like I think okay I want to lose eight pounds per month so that I can get to my goal by the time my son comes home you know and I think if I only lost 12 pounds the first month how am I gonna lose eight pounds every month after there's some people that don't lose any weight the second month. Losing 12 pounds is pretty average. It says actually nine pounds is the average of everybody, but I um, watched a video of this girl who lost like 26 pounds in her first month. Next weigh in, I have these same feelings of disappointment. I'm just gonna eliminate it and wait every three months. Standing on the scale is not a good thing for me. I feel hopeful. I had a lot of comments on my last video. I don't think anyone knows how much that means to me. Just to be able to hear people say, good job, like I'm proud of you, or you can do it, or you inspire me. All those things keep me going. I wake up every single morning and get on my knees and give thanks that my addiction has been taken away from me. I had one of the ladies who helped me before. She is a health coach and she commented on my Facebook page and told me how she's proud of me. I remember going to her with, at the gym when I did her plan, so she does MetaFast. I wasn't in the right state of mind. I was actually crying when I got on the scale. I remember feeling like I, I just can't do this. I quit because I couldn't handle, I couldn't handle doing it. Emotionally, I wasn't ready. It was kind of cool to see her comment on my Facebook video and see that now emotionally I'm in a different place. That's huge for people like me who have had an addiction to food for however many years, 20 plus years. You can't do this without having the right state of mind. You have to be wanting to do this, and I talked about it before. You have to be wanting to do it out of loving yourself and not out of fear that you won't be loved. I know that it's hard to understand unless you are in the place that I'm in, but as I look back at all the times that people actually tried to help me all these years, anything would have worked for me and I could have been successful years ago. I guess what I want to discover is why I'm different now. Why do I feel different? Why am I ready? And how can I help other people be ready like I'm ready? For an obese person, it doesn't matter what you do or how you plan to lose weight if you're not doing it for the right reasons it just won't last and that's one of the reasons i'm so excited about this journey for me i'm learning so much i hope that i can put it into words so that other people that are feeling the way i always felt can understand and can see that anything's possible i know how hard it is to be obese i know the struggles because i'm here this is me I don't know that somebody who has never been obese can understand how painful and how isolating it feels. I had a trainer at one point who had taken care of herself her whole life. She'd been all about her health and so I just remember being in like a group training with her and she was the trainer and there was a lot of other girls and all I could feel was nobody understands me. Nobody. Nobody gets what I'm going through. Nobody knows how I feel. Um, to go and be in like a group training and to be the last one, the slowest one, like it's hard to explain it unless you actually have gone through it. I think the thing that I can 
give to people who are obese is they will know that I've been there and I know how it feels. I know how hard it is to get into the right mindset. My health coach asked me today, what's your goal for this next 30 days? And I was like, oh God, I don't know where my YouTube videos are gonna go with this. Like I had everything titled like day one, day two to the 30 day. And now I need to have a new challenge and a new goal. So anyone who has any suggestions, I would love your comments and your suggestions of what I should talk about.